Hello everyone, Dragon Goes to Japan. Time for the weekly update in the vlog of what's going on. Uh, nice sunny day here in Oita. Uh, I'm currently at the park I did my first vlog at actually, behind me. As you can see, a nice empty field. It's a school day here. So I'm kind of just chilling out, doing my little bit of work, and kind of just thinking. Um, today's vlog, I actually <laughs> was going to just say an update like normal, what's going on, but um, I wanted to talk about something a little bit more serious actually today than I have before and that pertains to Japan and racism and I mean someone might say it's Japan they're not very racist um they're actually very racist in a very weird way I'm not portraying Japan as a bad place uh, saying that you know it's very racist to everybody it's racist indirectly and kind of discriminatory a little bit and uh, what I mean by this is this is something I'm coming to discover more and more every day is uh, I talk to Japanese and they, I ask them mostly you know you know where did you learn your English things like that nature kinda you know what kind of things do you like about other cultures and the funny thing is is every time I ask them it's like oh I dated a foreigner I'm like oh okay but they never tell me what kind of person it is they never say oh I dated an American I dated a Canadian, I dated uh, someone from Australia. It's always, uh, they always say Gaigokujin, which um, Gaigokujin means foreigner, so not Japanese. Which um, doesn't sound like a bad thing because they understand it's I'm not Japanese or they're not Japanese, but it's the context of that word as it signifies being racist, realistically. Is it's kind of like saying, um, using the n-word towards African Americans in America you know it's derogatory here it's derogatory indiscriminately and discriminately at the same time so what I mean by this I'm trying not to make this sound confusing but what this means in essence is you're not Japanese so you're only a foreigner so when they say oh I dated a foreigner Normally they don't say, oh, I dated a Korean or a Chinese person after. It's always foreigner first. As we say in America, we don't say, I dated an Asian or an African or something. We say, I dated, you know, someone from Japan or I dated Japanese, Chinese, Korean, whatever. So it's really kind of racist in that sense. And this might sound kind of weird for this blog. But I was out at the bar, actually here in Oita, Saturday night. And I asked this question because, you know, some people say, oh, you know, I've met a foreigner and this and that. I'm like, okay. Oh, I've dated a foreigner. I'm like, oh, so. But they don't always sometimes tell you from what country or anything else. It's kind of, it's kind of odd because I look at what kind of person did you date? Did you date, you know, a a Korean, a Chinese, did you date an American? What kind of person did you date? And I never can seem to understand why it's always, oh, I dated a guy Gokujin or I dated a Gaijin. So I'm like, I thought this was kind of an interesting subject today to bring up because people that come here need to be aware that you will be called guy Gokujin, you will be called Gaijin, you will be called an outsider or a foreigner here, which isn't a bad thing, but from the racial standpoint, you're considered like everyone else so it's not a matter of pride I'm trying to state in this argument I'm trying to let people know that it's a really kind of racist term and some places don't let you in because you're a foreigner I haven't encountered that but one time here in Japan uh, which is kind of weird I was like really I'm a foreigner and I can't come in and it's mostly under the context that I can't speak Japanese sorry it's really hot out so what my biggest uh, complaint about this is today as I'm doing this vlog as I thought about this long and hard I'm like this is really weird for me because I'm not a racist uh, I wasn't really raised to be a racist uh, I don't really care where you come from as long as you're a good person I don't care but here identity is like really really critical for people so this also means that if you date a foreigner, you're under a lot of pressure, a lot of scrutiny, a lot of, uh, what's the word? You're under a fine-tooth comb for your actions. 
So if you marry a foreigner here, or if you're dating a foreigner, there's a lot of par uh, parental pressure, there's a lot of culture pressure, there's a lot of peer pressure. So it plays a lot into this Gaigokujin, you know, could be, oh, it's so cool, kakui, or, you know, it's kawaii, it's so cute, but it's kind of like, mm, wishy-washy is the correct response to it all. I mean, I don't really know what to say to it, personally, I don't. It, it blows my mind uh, why it's like that here. I mean, I'm sure there's a reason, and I'm sure I'm just overlooking the simple reason, but I wanted to notify people that come here that this happens. Uh, it races, Japan isn't racist 100%, but this kind of racism is like very indirect. So it's not like directly discriminatory. It's indirectly discriminatory. So it's, it's okay if you can get past it and look at it, which I, I have, but I'm, I want to notify people that there is this kind of thing here. And it's not a bad thing, as bad as it is in other countries, but it's pretty serious sometimes. I mean, it doesn't hurt my feelings, but I think it's something people need to be aware of. I'm sorry, I'm going to stand up because it's hot. People need to be aware of that, like, racism does exist here. Um, it is popular, it does happen. So, I mean, we need to be addressed to this issue. I'm sorry, it's really hot. I'm trying to stand. So, but overall, uh, mm, I, I say a lot, and it's because the Japanese have mimicked me into saying that so much. Um, hmm. It's a very sensitive subject for some people. I mean, most Japanese don't understand it. They just say it. So, it's it takes time to adjust. So, but overall, it needs to be discussed in this kind of context and brought to light. Just casually so people understand and are aware of what's going on here. When you come here, this will happen to you. So you need to think about it long and hard before you come here. Because you will encounter this at least once or twice being here. So it's interesting. I give it that. But just remember that it does exist here. So no matter where you're from... It does affect you on a mild standpoint. So just remember to be cautious of it. To the wind, have fun with it. Uh, you're foreign, so you get a little bit of pass on some things here. But you're also going to be looked at a lot differently than you would be, I'd say, in maybe another country like Korea or China where there's a lot more foreigners. Here, even though there's foreigners, it's still looked at differently, especially when it comes to dating or hanging out with Japanese. Um, even now when I go hang out or meet people, it's kind of, I get a lot of funny looking eyes looking at me a lot, so it's kind of weird some days, but it does happen. Japanese are more accepting, I think, of, of foreigners and other cultures at in some points, but there's still a lot of this animosity and gaigokujin fear factor thing, and people need to be looking for and addressing slowly. But I just want to bring that up in today's vlog about uh, if someone wants, I can go into in more, a lot more in-depth detail and maybe make a specified video for it. This is kind of just a, a an experience I'm having and what's going on here and something that I think should be addressed. While since I've lived here for a year, uh, I've experienced it in Fukuoka and here. Not as hard as I did as when I was in Fukuoka. Here it's a little bit lighter, but the looks I get are no different. So. But that'll be, I think, it for a good update of what's going on right now. So, But that's my thought of the day, kind of. I might actually make a side thing called thought of the day and talk about it. But I just figured that I should talk about uh, Japan, a little bit about the racism problem, Gaigokujin, that kind of thing. So people are kind of aware and conceptualized and integrated into what's going on with it. So it's still early in the day, so I'm going to try and go do some fun things. So... But all right, I want to thank everyone who's been watching, friends, family back home, anyone else who's joined up, please give me comments, feedback, anything, an idea. I'm thinking about doing a funny video of me trying Japanese food and probably throwing up at the same point because some of it feels like poison. So, all right, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully. Bye.